A pleasant day, everyone. Let's start the week two of mathematics lesson, which is Venn diagram. After going through this module, we're expected to solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first learning test one. All we have to do is to list down inside the diagram what is asked in each set. So we have A is the set of factors of 12. We all know that the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 12. Those are the factors of 12. Next, B is the set of prime numbers less than 15. So prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that is not a product of two smaller numbers. Therefore, the set of prime numbers which is less than 15 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Next, C is the set of even numbers less than 15. Even number is any number that can be exactly divided by 2. So therefore, the set of even numbers which is less than 15 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Therefore, we have our Venn diagram, our diagram, which is set A. We have set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 12. And set B is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. And last but not the least, is set C is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So moving on to our discussion, we have Venn diagram. So Venn diagram is a diagram that uses circles to represent sets. So the relation between the sets is indicated by the arrangement of circles. So the Venn diagram is a way of representing sets visually and is named after its inventor, which is the British mathematician Jan Venn. So first, let's have this illustrative example. So we're going to use the Venn diagram to represent the following sets. We have our universal set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And our set A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Those are the elements of set A. And the elements of set B is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The two sets have common elements which are 6 and 8. Therefore, we need to write these elements in the intersection of two circles. Then write the other elements of each set in the other part of the circle. The elements of universal set that are not in set A or set B must be placed outside the two circles. Moving on to the second illustrative example, we're going to use Venn diagram to represent set and set operations. So we have given sets, which is set A is equal to 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9. Set B is equal to 1, 3, 7, and 9. And set C is equal to 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So then given the set operations, we have the intersection of set A and set C is equal to 8 and 9. Another one is the intersection of set B and set C is equal to 7 and 9. And last but not the least set operation, we have the intersection of A, B, and C is equal to 9. Therefore, we have this Venn diagram, which is set A is equal to 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9. And the intersection of set A and set C is equal to 8 and 9. 9. And we have our set B, which is equal to 1, 3, 7, and 9. And the intersection of set B and set C 
is equal to 7 and 9. And set C, which is equal to 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the intersection of set A, B, and C is equal to 9. Next illustrative example that we have. So we have 60 students of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals at home. 40 of the students have dogs and 35 have cats. So the questions are, first question, how many students have dogs only? Next, we have how many students own cats only? And last but not the least question is, how many students have both pet animals? So let's have our solution. So let S sub 1, which is equal to set of students with dogs only. S sub 2 is equal to set of students with both pets. And S sub 3, which is equal to set of students with cats only. So we have this Venn diagram, which is the set of students with dogs only and set of students with cats only and set of students with both pets, which is the intersection. So to find the elements in each region, so let's have this equation S sub 1 plus S sub 2 plus S sub 3, which is equal to total number of students S, which is equal to 60. So let's subtract the two equations to find the number of students who have cats only. So we have S sub 1 plus S sub 2 plus S sub 3, which is equal to 60, which is the total number of students S, minus the S sub 1 plus S sub 2, which is equal to 40 students who have dogs only. Therefore, we have S sub 3, which is equal to 60 minus 40, is equal to 20. Next. Subtract the two equations to find the number of students who have dogs only. Given the equation S sub 1 plus S sub 2 plus S sub 3, which is equal to 60, minus S sub 2 plus S sub 3, which is equal to 35, which is the number of students who have cats only. So we have S sub 1, which is equal to 25. Then we're going to substitute the values of S sub 1 and S sub 3 to find S sub 2. So the number of students who have both kind of pet animals. So we have 25, which is the number of students who have dogs only, plus S sub 2, which is the number of students who have both kind of pet animals, plus 20 which is the number of students who have cats only, which is equal to number of students as the total number of students as, which is equal to 60. Then we have, we have S sub 2, which is equal to 60 minus 25 minus 20. Therefore, S sub 2 is equal to 60 minus 45, which is equal to 15. Therefore, the number of students who have both kind of pet animals is equal to 15. Therefore, S sub 1, which is equal to set of students with dogs only, is equal to 25. Then S sub 2, which is equal to set of students with both pets, is equal to 15. And S sub 3, which is equal to set of students with cats only, is equal to 20. Therefore, we have our Venn diagram which is the set of students with dogs only is equal to 25, then set of students with cats only is equal to 20, and of course our intersection, which is the set of students with both pets, is equal to 15. Let's answer learning task number two. Then answer learning task number three. Thank you.